today we'll be testing the efficiency of an AC DC converter the TDK Lambda DRB50 24 volt 2.1 amp DC power supply it features a 100 to 240 volt AC input um, and we will be loading it with this resistor load box here um, the, we will be monitoring the input power with the Newton's fourth single phase breakout box um, which will be taking the voltage and the current to channel one of the power analyzer. The output power will be broken out of this load box and we'll be monitoring the DC voltage and the DC current with channel two on the power analyzer. The power analyzer we'll be using today is the PPA1530 which is in fact a three phase analyzer but it's also available in two phase, um, a 1520. Even though we have the 1530 today, what we can do is set the instrument up and disable the third channel, monitor the input power as I said on channel one and the output on channel two, and then what we can do is on screen, real time, compare the two powers and provide an efficiency measurement on screen as a percentage. We'll be testing two load points approximately half load and full load. So let's turn the power analyzer on and we will connect the fan. The fan is just for cooling of the resistor bank. It's a very simple load that we're using today and we're going to connect the DC supply and as you'll see, green light, the DC is okay. The power analyzer is currently in default configuration and what we're going to do now is set up the device to measure the input power on channel 1 and the output power on channel 2. Now important points to remember today is we have AC 50 Hz on channel 1 and we're going to have DC on channel 2 and as with any power measurement we must ensure that we are synchronized correctly to the frequency. Now, what that means is we're going to have to separate the two channels with regards to frequency detection. This is due to the fact that the frequencies are different and we want to ensure that each channel is optimized upon its individual measurement. The PPA 1500 can do this and if we go into the acquisition menu, we will change the wiring configuration to single phase one plus phase two. In the M4L power analyzers, always consider plus meaning separate frequency detection. So press enter, enter again and then what we can see is if we look at channel 1 we have 247 volts 26 milliamps this is in standby and we've got 209 milliwatts there and the 50 Hertz is synchronized correctly. Now if we go to channel 2 what we can see is we have got the correct frequency this is off load, let's just put it on load Twenty-three watts there. Now, as we can see, the analyzer is showing zero hertz, and that's correct. However, on occasion, if you have a noisy power supply, so if the filtering isn't quite as good as this TDK power supply, then you may see the frequency start to try to detect maybe the switching frequency of the switch mode power supply. Although today that's not happening, we want to ensure that the power analyzer does not attempt to lock onto that frequency. A simple setting, if we go into the coupling menu, once we've set individual phase one and two, so the, remember the plus, we can see that the phase two coupling is there now, not just coupling. So we've got separate coupling options for each channel. Let's put that to DC and hit enter. Now, although we're DC coupled, that's purely a frequency detection option not bandwidth limitation so you will still achieve the full one megahertz bandwidth of the instrument so let's have a quick look on the oscilloscope we can see DC on channel 2 phase 2 and we can see a typical switch mode power supply rectifier input on channel 1 with the sinusoidal wave uh, from the UK mains that we're monitoring today if we go back to power, what we can also do 
is enable efficiency now. So if I press the mode button, I can then scroll down to last line. I'm not interested in monitoring vars today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap that for efficiency. Efficiency, enable efficiency. Now, I want to display my efficiency on the phase one column, so that means I want to be calculating the next phase, which is phase two, the output power, over the input power, the current phase. So next phase over phase is the correct answer there. So as you can see, on channel one now, we are showing 87.45% efficiency. So we've got 26 watts on channel one, 23.1 watts on channel two. So if we then want to only display the input power and the output power on screen, what we can do is if I scroll through again, I've got a view with all, all parameters there, phase one and phase two. Of course, more parameters are available via software and you can log up to 60 parameters uh, to time via software. But today we're looking at just on screen and um, what we can do on the display. So if I press the zoom button now, Continue to press it until you can see just the red boxes around the, the items on screen. Press the delete button and it deletes all the zoomed parameters and we can start again. So I want to monitor the input power, the output power and the efficiency. If I press zoom, it zooms them in once. If I press zoom again, it zooms them in twice. So in zoom 2 we can see we've got input power, output power and efficiency on screen. What I'm going to expect now is, as I load the device up to full rating, we expect the efficiency to increase slightly. So let's do that. Excellent. So as expected, the 89% there, slight improvement on efficiency with 50 watts in and 45, 46 watts out there. So. The device is performing as expected, if I just zoom out once, and then we can see that we've got 0 hertz, 50 hertz, 24 volts as expected, around about 2 amps, so we're nearly at full rating, 1.915 amps, 400.9 milliamps, and 247 volts. So this was efficiency measurement of AC-DC converters. The PPA 1500 can equivalently perform just as well on DC-DC converters, so you can achieve real-time measurement of a DC-DC converter and uh, obtain the efficiency of the devices. We can also um, monitor AC to AC converters, so if you have a, a, a frequency converter, we can monitor the AC um, efficiency of the device and so on. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.